So I'm back down the farm today working on the van. And uh, I forgot to mention in the last video, obviously I fixed the water leak that um, when that pipe exploded on the dyno, I just cut the pipe back, refitted it, filled it back up with coolant. And then um, I drove it around for a bit because I was worried whether I'd like done a head gasket or something like that, if that's why it split. But um, I've driven it around and it's absolutely fine. So I can only put it down to it being an old hose that just, you know, split when it was under that little bit of extra more um, pressure being on the dyno. So um, cut that back, fix that, and it's absolutely fine. The only other downside is I am pretty confident that my van does have a water leak. Well, actually, I know it has a water leak. You know, I'm not that bad. Um, but my rad is pretty knackered and it's sort of leaking down in the corners and like all the cores blowing out of it, it's bowed slightly and stuff like that. So I have a new radiator to fit. Nothing exciting, just a pattern cheap one. It took me ages to find the right one. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna swap the rad. So yeah, let's crack on. The air radiator is in a lot worse condition than I actually thought. It's proper like bowed out at the top and looks like it's been leaking at the end tanks and dripping down. So glad I'm changing it now. I hope it's the right one. I haven't actually put them side by side yet. It took me ages to find this rad. And when I did, I paid for it. And I've had it on the shelf for a while, so. Actually, don't look too bad. As long as the pipes are in the right place, that's all that really matters. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna get this back in. What I might try and do is put that cooling fan on the front and then spin the wires round so it gives me a little bit more room for the boost pipe and stuff because the intercooler is actually mounted off the cross member so if I can just tuck it in between there make it a nice lot better cool I got the uh, new radiator in I tried putting the fan on the other side but I didn't realise how much lack of room I've got and how fat the uh, radiator uh, how fat the fan actually is so I could have mucked about moving the fan back or moving the cooler a bit further forward because I've got a bit of room there but I couldn't be arsed so I just put the fan back on the back it's fine there it's worked there before so that's how it will stay for now uh, so yeah just got to put some coolant in it and run it up how exciting is this eh just run it up to temperature put some new antifreeze in it got the cap off just trying to bleed it out seems all right though a really annoying squeaking belt but like I said a few videos ago I put a dodgy power steering pump on it so I need to change that pump I have got another one I just can't be bothered to change it and that's it all run up to temperature fan all cuts in it's all bled out heat is all nice and warm that's it job done a little bit of maintenance there that needed doing is done well until next time see you guys later like, share, subscribe. Cheers.